It takes energy, and a lot of it, to light the world for 7 billion people. Electricity flows by the megawatt to our modern cities to power our businesses, our institutions, and our homes. We depend on it, and we take it for granted. That is, unless we don't have it. One-fifth of the world's population still lives in the dark. For these two billion people who live in energy poverty, waiting for the electric grid is not an option. So they're making energy themselves, in sometimes surprising ways. The United Nations Development Program shines a light on how people in the most impoverished areas of the world are transforming their communities by powering their way out of energy poverty, one simple solution at a time. Creating electricity from the planet requires hundreds of massive power plants and a transmission grid system to deliver the power. In the Himalayan nation of Nepal, the towering mountains are a formidable impediment to the delivery of modern energy. Nepal is a poor country, you know that, but I think we don't have many resources because we are landlocked and we don't have fossil fuels. But one thing we are rich, that is the water resources. Water is Nepal's oil. Engineers estimate that Nepal has enough water to electrify the entire country of 27 million people. But building large-scale hydroelectric projects is expensive and takes years to build. That's time and money these remote villages don't have. It's difficult to reach out to national grid. So they have to have their own system within the community for their own development. For rural areas of Nepal, there is a simple solution. Small-scale implementations of hydroelectric projects, called micro-hydro, are being used to harness the power of water to produce electricity. It's very, very simple. You have water flowing everywhere. You just use the height and then take the water through a pipe and it runs a turbine. Then the turbine is coupled with the generator and produces electricity. Simple as that. Micro-hydro projects can be built quickly and at a fraction of the cost of larger dams. The nighttime landscape is changing rapidly in Nepal. Darkened streets are illuminated. Homes have lights for reading. The silence replaced with evening newscasts, power tools, and internet cafes. Electricity is flowing, not from massive power plants hundreds of kilometers away from these villages, but from electricity right here, where the community operates and maintains the system. Generating electricity from water is not a new concept, but what the United Nations Development Program, the government of Nepal, and other partners created in 1996 was. Under this UNDP model, communities are required to help with everything, from digging the channels, to diverting the water, to stringing the power lines, and installing the lights. Since 1996, nearly 400 micro-hydro power plants have been built in the most remote and impoverished areas of Nepal, bringing modern energy for the first time to 500,000 people. The day that modern energy arrives in Nepal is a day to celebrate. When they see that first bulb click, you can see the smile, you know, from your mouth to the eye. The average micro-hydro project provides about 30 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power a village like Karbang in western Nepal's Baglong district. Dronavan's noodle factory now has machines, allowing him to triple his production. Pabitragiri has been able to harness the opportunities provided by electricity to open a business manufacturing herbal soap sold all over Nepal. My dream was to run this business, and my dream has come true. It has been very beneficial for my family. Until now, we were not able to educate our children. Microhydroelectricity has sparked economic development in Carbang. Welding shops, a cell phone repair business, and even an ice cream cone can be found on the street. The Microhydro project powers classrooms, a medical clinic with an x-ray machine, and a way to refrigerate vaccinations to keep improving public health. Micro-hydro projects have become the pride of Nepal and proof that this simple technology 
is a long-term solution to bring an end to energy poverty.